So okay. I have it. It's Captain Wally Weehot. Last name is spelled W-I-E-G-H-A-T. Okay. Harris County Constable Precinct 4. Yeah, just the captain, tell us what happened here. Today. Basically what happened, we had a 20-year-old Domino's Pizza delivery man that had just made a delivery here at the apartment complex. As he was leaving the complex, he met a dark-colored uh, sedan. We don't know if it's a two-door two or four-door. His description was kind of vague at this time, as you can imagine. Uh, approached, stopped right in front of him. As the vehicle stopped, he saw one black male exit with a handgun uh, weapon in his hand. As soon as he saw that, he believed he was fixing to get carjacked, put it in reverse, started backing away from the suspect and the vehicle. At that time, the suspect opened fire on him, shooting three times at him. Uh, two rounds struck the car, one round went through the front windshield, striking the driver in the chest. So at that point, he was he was actually in motion. The car he was driving. Yes, back. he was backing up. He was backing away from the assailant. And he was never out of the car. No, no, he was struck in the car. And do we think the motive in this case was robbery? Yes, it, it, I'm, we're reasonably sure it was. What did they did they get away with anything? Did they take anything? No, they didn't get anything. Uh, when they shot three times, of course, there's quite a few people here in the complex. A lot of people were looking on witnesses and stuff like that, which were still trying to gather statements. They saw the shooting. Uh, of course, they knew there was a lot of people witnessing it, so they, they turned and ran. How many people? Was it just the two? He said at least two at that time. There may have been more in the back seat, but he couldn't see. He focused on the on the suspect that exited with the uh, weapon in their hand, and that's what uh, he, he focused on. He was obviously talking and, and conscious when you, when you guys got to the scene. Yes, he was talking and coherent at that time. Uh, I don't think it had truly set in that he had been hit. Uh, pretty hard at that time, but he was talking and was able to give us a basic, very basic description. And he was struck once just in the chest? Just once, yes, sir. How's he doing? He's in stable, serious but stable condition at this time, had been Tom. And um, what's the description we want to get out to the people who are going to see the news tonight? Unfortunately, uh, he did, wasn't able to provide a very good description. We know a dark colored sedan uh, occupied by at least two black males. That's all, unfortunately, he was able to get. He it was pretty shook up pretty scared and of course he's in quite a bit of pain so we've got an officer at the hospital right now going to interview him uh, as soon as he gets stabilized and see if we can get a better description. Who called 911? You know I'm not sure somebody probably here at the apartment complex I feel confident. I was about to say I'm sure you've spoken with some neighbors out here uh, you know what, what are they saying? Uh, at this time they're all kind of you know shook up too right. as you can imagine so uh, we're, interviews are still going on uh, still taking witness statements and trying to uh, Lock down a little bit better description on our suspects. Any information uh, from neighbors saying that they've seen that car here or noticed those guys here before? Unfortunately not. Uh, at this time we haven't run across uh, anybody like that. But uh, again, the investigation is very early and uh, we're still collecting statements. So hopefully uh, some of the witnesses will give us a little bit better description. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Uh, that's it. Just if anybody does have any knowledge of uh, what happened here today and able to provide any uh, good suspect description, please give us a call at 281-376-3472 at the constable's office. This was dinner time? Yeah. 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 This was happening? Yeah. So a lot of people out and about, coming home from work and whatnot? Yeah, that's why we're hoping uh, somebody's able to provide a good description. Yeah. So of course, maybe he will after he, you know, he's able yeah. to recover and stabilize. You said he's 20? He's 20. Working for Domino's. Yeah, he just made a delivery and was was coming out. And when they come at him, you know, the basically two vehicles was head to head. And when the guy, the driver of the suspect vehicle, got out and armed with a weapon, uh, he saw the weapon, put it in reverse, and started backing away. And then they opened fire on him. Did he have a, some kind of marking on the car saying he was Domino's? Did, do you think no, was no, there's no marking on the car. So uh, is his car here still? Yes, it's back there. It's we're waiting the on the crime scene to come out and process the vehicle. So this is probably as close as we're going to get all night? Uh, for a while. We've got a shell casings in the driveway down there. We don't want them disturbed. we got a, actually a, a crushed bullet that went through the car. And we're not sure if it was one that struck him and possibly went through his body or not. But we're going to recover that uh, as well. So we're waiting on crime scene to get out here to do that. Thank you, Captain. Far up that way. Well, that's where the actual shooting happened, up by the gate. He fled back here to get away from it. So, yeah, so he, maybe he spun out. I think out he probably backed so yeah. far and turned, and turned around. around. Turned around yeah. We can only see Not that kind of vehicle. Oh, no, no, no. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs>
I don't know which year, which year he delivered the pizza to me because he had already made it delivered. That's fine. What you good, Chauncey? Yeah. What's your first name? Uh, Hever. Spell it for me. H e v e r. And your last name, Hever? Uh, Capote. C a p o t e. And um. Say the name again and spell it, please. Uh, it's Hever. H e v e r. Last name Capote. C a p o t e. And so tell me, you were inside your apartment over there? Yes, I was inside my apartment, and uh, I heard three gunshots. It was about three gunshots, and followed by about two seconds later, it was some uh, tire screeching, and that's all I heard. And um, I came outside. Uh, there was a lady um, that she was being taken into the ambulance, and that's it. That's all I, I saw. Um, so, I mean, my grandpa, he was on the computer, which is facing the window, and he says he, he heard the gunshots, and he came outside, and he saw a car, um, a black car, and he just went back inside and locked the door. So it, that's it. It was apparently a pizza delivery man who was um, shot, well, after he had delivered a pizza here. That's his car right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I couldn't really make out of it because I wear glasses and I didn't have them. I couldn't really make out of it. It was a, uh, a man or a woman, but I did see somebody getting into the ambulance. What do you think about something like this happening right here? Uh, it's, it's crazy. Not even a year ago, um, there was a drunk man that he he was mad because he said somebody stole his car, but it, it turns out that he was so drunk he had let a friend borrow it to go get some cigarettes, and he shot up my truck right in front, right there, same place where that car is. Shot up uh, my truck, and we had to um, we had to take it to the you know body shop, mm -hmm. and he it had about like like four or five bullet Were holes. You the mm -mm. I was inside my house and I was home alone and I heard about like seven or eight gunshots and I stayed in my house and my neighbor came and knocked and I didn't want to open the door because I was scared, you know? When, when you, you heard, heard those the gunshots, gunshots, what did you what did you think? What was I mean, did you think it was close? What did it sound like? I was on the computer and I mean the gunshots were about like ten feet away from me outside the house and I, I just threw myself to the floor <laughs> I was scared. I didn't get up until my neighbor knocked on the door and he's like, Hey, open up, it's me, your neighbor and I kind of like opened up the door a little bit and he's like, hey, somebody just shot up your truck. And I was just like, why? Like, why me? You know, why what did about you... tonight when you heard these gunshots? I mean, it's just the neighborhood is is the neighborhood's getting, you know, you were just as close tonight. I would yeah. imagine, right? Yeah. They... But for some reason, these these bullets didn't sound as loud as the other ones. I mean, the other dude, he had some big old slugs. I, I haven't, you know, but it's this one. This these sound more like firework like firecrackers, and then I, I noticed it was gunshots because I heard the tire screeching afterwards. I was like, you know, it had to be some something or somebody got shot, so. Right. Your grandpa, he needs to come talk to the lead. I did, I did, I, 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 told, I told the lady, yeah. Thanks, Heather. All right, thank you. Bye.